No one likes publishing e-learning content with typos or mistakes, so how do you avoid it? Hello, I'm Jonathan Halls. Welcome to rapidmediaforlearning.com. If you're publishing learning content, it's important to check things by following an editing workflow. A lot of instructional designers are good with details and they do their own editing, or they find someone else in the office who's really good with spelling and get them to run through it. But as work gets busier and more demands are placed on learning professionals, it's easy to let things slip. So it's important to have a process that you follow and a process you follow with discipline. We can learn some tips from the publishing world. When you write a book, a developmental editor will check that the ideas flow in a logical sequence. She'll often move things around, sometimes a paragraph, even a whole chapter. Once that's done, another editor will check the book for accuracies. Were all the quotes attributed to the right person? Are the statistics correct? And then, once that's done, they'll conduct a line edit, reading each line to make sure the sentence works and then weed out any obvious typos. Finally, a fresh editor, and one with a fresh eye, will conduct a copy edit, that is, look for typos. If you want to be sure your copy is ready to publish online or in an app or whatever, don't edit it all in one go. Follow the publishing method. First, look only at how it flows. Then, read it again, checking for accuracy. Sure, you may pick up the odd typo here or there, but don't kind of let that distract you at this stage. That's something you can do later. Once you've uh, checked for your accuracy, then check that each sentence flows and is tight. And then finally, check for spelling. That's your copy edit. One last thing when it comes to editing, a reality check. Things always slip through. If you have a word spelled incorrectly, don't beat yourself up. Just extra exercise extra vigilance next time. Hey, would you like to learn more about screen text? How to make people want to read your e-learning copy? Grab a copy of my book, Rapid Video Development for Trainers. It's out December 30, 2016.